You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I actually have a series in review for you guys. So now I have read and reviewed all three of the Romance in the Rockies series by Heather Blanton. And the series in review are as follows. A Lady in Defiance, Hearts in Defiance, and A Promise in Defiance. All in that order. All three books are done and each actually has their own book review. And I will put a playlist linked down in the video description below to where you can find it. And it will actually be um, included with this review as well because um, I have all three book reviews and then I have the series review to finish off the series. Um, before I get too far into this, um, there is going to be mention of religion. Um, so um, if you don't believe the way um, that the author has written or um, you're not religious in general, just kind of ignore that part um, or whatever. Um, I'm open to everybody that believes in a higher power or not. Um, I don't really care. Um, not that I don't care about religion, but I don't want to start a YouTube fight in the comments or anything bashing anybody else's beliefs because we all believe differently and that is that might be mentioned in the video. So with that disclaimer out of the way, let me begin. Um, so as I posted about in on my Facebook page, a week or so ago. Um, I was reading the first book called A Lady in Defiance. Lady in Defiance. Um, and I did not know if I could or should um, finish that book because it wasn't what I expected. Um, there was a lot of immorality. There was a lot of suggested behavior in that book. So, um, for a romance western Christian um, book it was excessive in my opinion um, but I think it was necessary because um, it showed just how bad this town of defiance had become and what it was like um, when it was first founded and when it was first um, introduced to the public um, for its namesake. So the second the second book um, is called oh, what was it? Hearts in Defiance. Um, this shows, this is a view of these Christian, Christian women um, that are kind of called to defiance. Um, they think that they were called by God to um, minister to these people and showing them by example the way they should live and in this book there is still some raunchy behavior um, suggested um, immoral behavior because usually if it's not a really um, dirty book per se um, they have some areas where they say um, this is how these people were situated, um, either on the bed or wherever, um, and then it suggests that maybe they did something. Um, you adults will know what I'm talking about. Um, but it was really nice to see that the Bible was spoken of, um, Jesus Christ was spoken of, um, and how those Bible verses and stuff wove together to bring people to religion that they believed in and that they were happy to tell other people about. Um, 
So that was really nice. Um, it did help some that this book was a little cleaner, but um, it wasn't very much so because there was some suggestive scenes and things that made you think that something had went on um, between characters and other scenes. Um, so the third book was, um, what is it? A Promise in Defiance. And so there is a madame called um, Delilah Goodnight in this book. Um, she, re she appears in all three of the books. Um, she has a dark past. Let me put it that way. Um, if you want me to go into more detail, I can. Um, but she has... A short list would be she has committed murder. She has been the subject of men being unholy in their thoughts. Um, other things like that that we would consider um, sinful in any religion, actually. Um, that is, if you believe in a higher power, um, whatever that might be. So, um, this third book has, a, I think, a surprise ending. It really looks at what people are doing and that the notion that things do happen for a reason, whatever that reason might be, if it's to convert somebody to believe in Jesus or if it's to show them that they're, um, what was it, that they're not um, ultimately in control of what happens, and that um, love does have a cost. Um, so it is through um, happenings in this woman's life, Delilah Goodnight, um, she it sees the light. It's, it's a very dim light, um, but there is the provo pro proverbial, if I can say my words right, the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel, and um, people's lives change, and it can be for the better, and that's a really good thing when you're talking about salvation and grace and things like that. Um, regardless of what you believe in. Um, so the, uh, the author, Heller Blanton, um, this was the first series that I've read from her ever. This was an unknown author to me at the time. Um, and it's, it's great for some people, um, not so great for others, depending on what you're looking for. I personally haven't really um, dabbled, um, except for this series, into Western romance, um, Christian type books before. So this was um, a little bit more suggestive than I thought it would be. Um, but it's also a nice surprise to see how lives can change um, through events in their lives and knowing that there can be a second chance and there can be um, redemption, whatever you believe in. But in this series, people's lives are changed and it's great to see and it's really refreshing to talk about, you know, grace and salvation and things like that. Um, so I would probably read more of her um, depending on what I find. Um, so the series I would recommend, um, just know that it might be for adults since it's a uh, romance um, part of it and western. It does have a lot of action in it, so um, I wasn't ready for that, um, but it kept me guessing. Um, so would the book reviewer recommend this? Absolutely. Um, just know it's for an older audience. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again next week.